It's pretty easy to recognize great athletes when we see them. The hard part is breaking down what makes them different from others. This video is about one of the greatest athletes in basketball history, LeBron James. Now, this isn't a LeBron versus Michael video, though, so don't expect those types of comparisons. Every time LeBron reaches another NBA Finals, basketball fans reopen the argument about who is the NBA GOAT, which stands for greatest of all time. But no right answer is ever reached, and the question goes back into the freezer until media reporters find a new reason to talk about it again. But his impressive longevity and constant mention in the talks of greatest of all time truly is what makes LeBron so dominant. James is maybe the best player in the world, and if you don't agree, you have to at least put him in the top three. As of 2022, James has played through an incredible run of 19 consecutive seasons, all of which he ended up among the league's top five players. Just two other NBA stars have pulled off a run of 10 straight seasons or more as a top five player, and those are Magic Johnson and John Stockton. But we can all agree that neither of them had a career as long and successful as LeBron's. Stockton was very durable, but retired without a single NBA title. As for Magic, he won five championships, but never achieved the type of stats King James produces every season. With almost a whole handful of rings to go with his nearly unbeaten record of superstar level longevity, LeBron has been the GOAT of both worlds. He's outplayed his elite opponents and somehow still been widely recognized as the best player on the planet. At multiple points in his career, LeBron has shown a massive skill set. The NBA star led the league in scoring as a 23-year-old in Cleveland before he had anything close to being in the GOAT discussion. But even in his rookie and early years, he was an extremely efficient, unstoppable finisher around the rim. At 36 years old, he led the NBA in assists for the first time in his career. And he's even mentioned the fact that he studies where his teammates like his passes to be positioned for them to increase their scoring chances. LeBron gives himself credit as well. It's not just the fans. One time he joked about his teammate Marc Gasol winning the 2013 Defensive Player of the Year award, saying the award should belong to him. And even though he wasn't even a candidate for the award that year, he's shown multiple times that he can terrorize on the defensive end as well as the offensive side. Although the athlete was obviously born gifted in the sport, his skills are a product of years of hard work. Fans always notice how James's skill set kept improving year to year. Nevertheless, a juvenile LeBron was already pretty impressive. When he was 19 years old, James was already doing very well in multiple areas, but nothing to make people think that he was going to be this dominant. In fact, young LeBron's shooting was quite poor as he only had a 29% conversion rate, ranking him fourth worst among all qualified NBA players. Fortunately, he never stopped working and at such a young age, he had infinite time to improve. And by 2008, LeBron was a totally different player and a much better player than he'd been as a rookie. He began shocking the world by scoring with the same frequency as the best scorer of that moment, basketball legend Kobe Bryant. And that's not all. LeBron improved his passing skills and even became one of the top defenders in the NBA. Now, the 2008 and 2009 seasons were indeed great for James, but the years that followed, which are the ones after he left Cleveland for Miami, were the ones that really saw him truly unlock his full potential. LeBron continued to score and pass at an elite level while playing good defense, but he also began to set a career record for a rebounding rate. At the same time this happened, he became an elite three-point shooter by landing nearly 41% of his shots from downtown. When the athlete turned 35, he wasn't the same as he was a decade earlier. Even though he still scored a lot, he had a down year shooting in 2019 and 2020 and chose his spots more on defense. But LeBron also proved he could be the most productive passer in the NBA by leading the league in assist rate for the first time. It was yet another highlight in the elite player's career. 
Speaking of LeBron's skill set development from year to year, one of the most impressive things we've seen him do is going from being statistically the worst jump shooter in the league in 2015-2016 to becoming a pretty impressive one today. And not just that, but also becoming maybe the most prolific long, long range shooter in the sport as well. LeBron's ability to play as an occasional marksman, along with possessing one of the league's highest on-court IQs, proves why his briefly diminished athleticism hasn't really played against him yet. Even if he wasn't able to get to the rim and elevate over teammates anymore, James would still be able to score every time to compensate for his weaknesses. Many basketball analysts state that LeBron is built with many of the best players' best skills, all combined into one of the most hyper-athletic, most talented humans the league has ever seen. But LeBron's greatness isn't just seen in the numbers either. One thing that frequently stands out when watching James is how much everything is in his peripheral space. The nine other athletes on the court, the coaches shouting from the outside, and thousands of fans seemingly don't exist for him while playing. In fact, ex-teammate Iman Shumpert still finds himself impressed with how the elite athlete can direct traffic and move chess pieces around to dismantle and manipulate defenses to his desire and then confuse them at the same time with a perfect pass once they've made the wrong decision. There'll be plays where he'll say, Shump, if he moves, cut right behind him. Cut right behind him if he moves, Shumpert said. And every single thing he says is going to happen. You watch it happen. And the moment the defender flinches, I'm cutting for a catch and dunk. The bottom line is that LeBron has literally maintained himself as the king of basketball for more than a decade and a half. That explains his greatness more than any other argument. However, there are some arguments for those who don't agree at all with calling LeBron the goat of the sport. Nowadays, the NBA's great big men are few and far between, but there was a time when genetically big men ruled the league. To call James the GOAT would be to dismiss all of the great big men in NBA history. King James is currently a dominant force in the league, but he wasn't the only guy to ever be called that before. Bill Russell, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Tim Duncan, and Shaquille O'Neal all have more championships than LeBron for now. Wilt Chamberlain has two titles, but has better statistics than any of the previous mentioned, including LeBron James. Those legends all played in different eras, so of course the sport was different back then. However, elite players are the ones who find methods to adjust to the game, and all those players did so and were the best in their own way. For this reason, an argument could be made that they were more successful in their time in the NBA than LeBron was. But LeBron doesn't see it like that. Speaking to TNT's Kenny Smith, James described his career as a three-part movie series divided throughout his time with the Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami Heat, and LA Lakers. In 2016, he led the Cavaliers to their first title in Cleveland. And looking back at that game, he said, At that moment, I thought I'm the greatest basketball player fans had ever seen. In all the eras, like I could play them one through five. I can guard one through five, you know, just basically like doing something that's never been done in the history of basketball. I mean, teams that go down three to one were like zero for 32 in finals history. Nobody is coming out of that and nobody gave us a chance. I just felt like ain't nobody better than me at this. I felt like Jay-Z when he made the blueprint. Following his victory at the All-Star Game, James was honored alongside Magic Johnson and Allen Iverson and ranked among the NBA's 75 greatest players of all time as part of the league's 75th anniversary celebrations. If you like this video, you might like the GOAT debate. Now, do you believe LeBron James is the greatest of all time? If not, then who? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.